Let's finish off the wave module. And first things first, we need a way to get the ball from the top bunk to the bottom bunk. Many of you suggested that I use a reverse C-shaped ramp, but my concern is if the ball comes in with too much speed, it might go past some of the bottom waves, and that would have made all of this work pointless. So instead, I decided to use this scoop attached to this inertial governor, but on my first attempt, it just completely drops the ball. So I added this wedge piece and that solves the problem. But that brings up a second point that many of you had, which is when the ball comes to the bottom, the waves have to move in the opposite direction. To solve that problem, I added this switch, which tells the microcontroller that the ball has entered the scoop and it's time for the motor to change directions. Finally, I added a bit of temporary track made from some cardboard and some 3D printed brackets. And now we have the full idea of how this module is gonna work.